I wanted to discuss with you what I like to call the best feeling in the world. Unfortunately, it took me a long, long time until I experienced it. And the reason for that is because this feeling is not like the same feeling that you feel when moods change. This isn't a mood. This isn't like, okay, now I'm, I'm happy or I'm sad or I'm angry. It doesn't just change. This feeling, the best feeling in the world, it happens when you accumulated enough negative reservation or to be more precise reservation of negativity for a positive outcome this reminds me of the time when I tried to learn the guitar so I was always aiming for getting the fastest results I can with the least amount of effort, which is what you should aim for. But the problem was, I was asking myself, how can I cheat? So I would try to learn on my own and just sat down and tried to do the things I saw on YouTube. It was at the beginning of YouTube. And I, I failed miserably. It was completely horrible until I got a guitar teacher. Now, I bought a guitar for my little brother, who's 16 years old, just uh, about a month ago. And he also wanted to kind of skip forward as fast as possible. But I made sure to help discipline him with the guitar I taught him the habits stuff that I teach and he actually sat down every day for a minimum of five minutes, sometimes to a whole hour, and practiced. And I actually broke down what he needs to practice. And at the beginning, it was horrible. So, you know, it doesn't make any sense the way that he's playing. It doesn't sound good. You can't even do a coherent uh five seconds of playing because you constantly have to check what you're doing and then I came back about two weeks later and checked out how he's playing and he actually learned a few songs so boom like he, he could play he could finally fucking play and it was an amazing feeling seeing how it all came together. All the little moments of, you know, oh, this isn't moving forward. This is just a tiny scale. I, I don't feel good about this. Basically, you, you wait and you wait and you wait and bam, you get what you wanted. And that's the best feeling in the world. This happened to me with my girlfriend as well. Initially, we were, we were still very different. Pretty much the most different... Uh, in terms of, you know, politically, uh, in terms of uh, personality, than any other girl I've dated. So we would clash a lot, because imagine it's two people that see reality in uh, almost an opposite way. Like you have a shared goal, you, you want to get to the same place, but you view it as one way, and she views, a, views it as a completely different way. So, but, but I realized how good she was, and why how important it was to go you know go far with that relationship to actually invest in it so i passed through so many tests you know so many times where we would argue or fight and i would just think you know i just want to get up and leave like i just i don't want to deal with this but i had to remind myself to think of the long term and realize that we're building something together and that eventually we'll cross that gap sorry we'll, we'll bridge that gap and and it's going to be amazing. So, you know, like, a, like a, a gem that's just not polished yet. And I clearly remember the day that it happened. We were just kind of hanging out, talking, having fun. And I looked back at the last few weeks 
and I noticed that my life got exponentially better. Like I had the best partner I could ever wish for. Like like funny and awesome and fun and super productive and supportive and, and pushing me and basically makes me like twice the man I am. And there's no more arguments, there's no more fighting. Of course, you know, you clash sometimes because it's uh, what happens when two people who <laughs> have opinions uh, are not afraid to talk about them, but 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 there's no more uh, uh, pointless fighting. And so we ironed everything out, and I just I, I realized that, and I sat there and I was like, whoa, like I'm literally seeing like the payoff right now. Like I'm literally seeing the moment where I just noticed or acknowledged that the scales have tipped. So this is the way I like to view it regarding the best thing feeling in the world is you apply effort and you keep pushing against your resistance and, and it's hard and you know it takes so much discipline and it, it's not as much of an effort game I believe as much as it is just like staying power you know like a like it's not like a sprint like how let's see how much I can do in a short time because life will make sure to cripple you if that's the case like if you just say okay let's do it in the fastest way you know let's just do one big push and that'll be enough then uh, it never works you know like let's learn the guitar in one big push or let's fix the relationship in one big push no it's always like like it's called a death of a thousand cuts it's like you have to really really be patient and sit there and and uh and take it and take it and take it and know that you're doing it for a good cause and then one day it just tips so it's not it doesn't resist you anymore it's not it's like it's like gravity instead of being against you like instead of going up the hill suddenly you're sliding down and uh and, and you earned it like you realize that you actually earned it <laughs> so the best feeling in the world is the feeling you get when you chose a worthwhile endeavor uh be it a relationship or financially or skill you want to learn, or change something, something about your character, or help someone, anything you can think of, and actually going through the grind, you know, like the grind, you know, like like the long marathon of getting completely pummeled again and again and again and again, and suddenly seeing it all tip over in your favor, you know, your business suddenly becomes profitable after so much effort and investment without seeing any upside for so long like that is the best feeling in the world I, I don't think there is a single better feeling or I don't think there's anything in the world that could cause a better feeling than this and I don't think that there is a better feeling than this so that's why I call it the best feeling in the world